Here's how to calculate the gain of an op amp in a contoured audio application because we added capacitors into our feedback elements. The uh, equations are going to be slightly different. But first we're going to look at how these uh, capacitors form. Uh, it's called a first order filter. When in a parallel like this it forms a low pass filter. When in series it makes a high pass filter. There's approximately 6 dB per octave roll off. An octave is a doubling in the frequency from like a thousand hertz to two thousand hertz. That's considered an octave. The uh, frequency cutoff for those filters is determined by the equation one over two pi R C. R is your uh, resistor. C is your capacitor. The cutoff frequency in hertz is the three D point of the uh, roll off of the filter. Normally, when you calculate a non-inverting gain of an op-amp, it's just the uh, feedback resistor divided by the input resistor, plus 1. But because we added the capacitor, we have to determine the impedance of this network, the impedance of the feedback network, and the impedance of the input network. Capacitors resist uh, alternating currents in a form what's called reactance. It's essentially the uh, it's a resistance of a capacitor at a certain frequency. And of course, it's going to vary with the frequency. That equation is the reactance equation is uh, 1 over 2 pi Fc. F is your uh, operating frequency of the circuit in hertz. C is the value of the capacitor in farads that you're measuring. And X sub C is the capacitive reactance in ohms. 2 pi can be reduced to 6.28, and that's uh, common in uh, these equations. Some example reactances, uh, a 0.01 microfarad capacitor at 60 hertz will have a reactance of 265,392 ohms, while at uh, 3000 hertz it will have a reactance of 5,308 ohms. A 1 microfarad capacitor at 60 hertz will have uh, 2,654 ohms of reactance, while at uh, 3000 hertz it only have uh, 53 ohms of reactance. To determine the impedance of a parallel capacitor and resistor, you need to use this equation. R times x sub c divided by the square root of r squared plus x sub c squared. And that'll be the impedance of a parallel uh, resistor and capacitor, where the x sub c is the reactance of the capacitor at, that you determined in the previous equation. For a series RC network, the equation is uh, the square root of R squared plus X sub C squared. It also gives you in ohms. So for our example, in our feedback network here, we have a 4700 picofarad capacitor in a parallel with a 10,000 ohm uh, resistor. The reactance of the 4700 picofarad capacitor at 60 Hz is uh, 564,665 ohms, while that same capacitor at 3000 Hz only has uh, 11,293 ohms of reactance. Now for our series input element here, we have a 4.7 microfarad capacitor. The uh, Reactance at 60 hertz of that capacitor is uh, 565 ohms, while at 3000 hertz it's uh, only 11 ohms. Now, we want to determine the impedance of our feedback. Uh, network at 60 Hertz. We plug that into the previous equation. It comes out to uh, 9,998 ohms. And for our input element network, our Z2 in this case, at 60 Hertz, it comes out to 574 ohms. Now, the voltage gain. We take the 9,998 ohms divided by the 574 plus the 1. It comes out to 18.4. 
and you convert that to decibels, you take the log, base 10, multiply it by 20, comes to 25.2 dB. So this op amp will provide 25 dB gain at 60 Hz. Now we re redo the equation using 3000 Hz for our input frequency. Our D Z1 feedback impedance works out to 7487 ohms. Our input impedance at 3000 Hz works out to 101 ohms. Put that into the standard voltage gain equation, 7487 divided by 101 plus 1 equals a voltage gain of 75.1. Convert that to, uh, to decibels using the standard equation, and we get uh, 37.5 decibels. So, as we can see, there is approximately 12 dB difference from 60 Hz to 3000 Hz. Just by adding single capacitors into our feedback element, we reduced the gain at the lower frequencies by uh, 12 dB. And for an audio surveillance application, like in a microphone preamp, that's a little less rumble that'll be passed on to the uh, previous or the uh, next stages. You know, if you have another uh, filter stage or something, that just be uh, it doesn't have to work as hard. You know, removing the uh, anything. Um, there's of course. Uh, software that does all this for you but you want to do it by hand just so you can kind of get an idea what your circuit's doing not a lot of people do that anymore so it's really not that bad you'll notice that the, the since these form um, filters low pass and high pass the uh, the filter free your cut up filter cut up frequency and the gain are going to interact so you kind of might have to experiment a bit with the uh, values normally you want to use the lowest uh, value resistors just that also reduces your noise and it uh, you want you know your source load to be the predominant source of noise into your circuit you don't want noise from your uh, uh, resistors in your uh, feedback network is no point in doing that